Welcome to another session. Um, it's actually the day after the session. I'm filming it the following day, like I normally do. Um, right, uh, yesterday Les and I went down to the seafront to do South End Pier, and uh, this is how we got on. Morning all. Here we are again, back at the beach at South End. Uh, uh, we've just been here, got about 10 minutes ago, just come down the beach onto the wet. Uh, we're going to make our way up the pier. Um, if we get that far. <laughs> yeah, uh, first worthy signal, coin signal. I've had a few um, bottle caps and uh, bits and pieces, but I've just switched on to the, uh, on, on the uh, Equinox 800, I've just switched the, uh, what's the name of the uh, F2 update, so the bottle caps will start coming through. But first coin, Right on the end of the scoop there, and it is a trusty old 20p. All right, All right I've got a signal here, it's 23. So, come on, I need £2.55 to get my target for January. Just two pound fifty-five. That's all I need. The only trouble is here, where I am at the moment. There's a lot of bottle caps around. we have my very first coin it's a nugget very first coin of the day is a nugget oh one pound 55 required well dare I do a live dig I've got a nice crisp 23 signal there I've actually switched back to the F2 update because uh, it was just getting impossible to uh, to do anything really to get a decent uh, target. Now it's out already. It's only shallow. It's a bit of a worry because it was saying it was about four inches deep. I think. And I have just dug out a piece of uh, brass, <laughs> so it might not be going too well. Let's have a look. It's here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> ah, fantastic. It is a, a nice little nugget on a live dig as well. There you go. Yeah, I was doubting it a little bit there, the way that went, but uh, yeah, my first nugget, so that's good. I might stick around this area. This is this is where I found that ring a couple of weeks back, so I'm literally, I uh, can't be far from where that was, so seems to be a little holding area here, so uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a little search. All right, next coin, eyes only. I've got a signal. I can see it just laying on the surface there and it's um, the old trusty 20 pence piece 
you got to get at least one of these every session. Right, 20p. Right, this is unbelievable. Next coin. Eyes only. Got the signal. Literally laying on the surface. Another 20 pence. Okay, we're right next to that, uh, the pound coin, the nugget was just, yes, yeah, so I mean, actually I've dug quite a few little holes in this area, but right next to that nugget was uh, another, that's a 15 signal. I'll get me pinpoint out of what. It's here. I think I just see it, I think it was a 20p. Just lost it there. Uh, where's he gone? Could be there. Is it there? Oh, it might be a... Uh, uh, that's a 50p. Oh, uh, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, 50 pence. Spendable 50p. It's not in bad condition either. <laughs> yeah, well, it's worth sticking around this area. Got to keep an eye on Darren because he might disappear up the pier soon, so keep an eye out. Right, this little signal here is uh, it's just on the surface. There's quite a few little signals, 17s and 18s around here. I've turned up the uh, recovery speed quite a bit so I can separate the signals because it's absolutely uh, trashed around here, loads of it. Um, I've just moved this off and haven't even really dug it, but I think it's a nugget. I'm just, just scraping the surface off with a pinpointer. And there she is. Oh. Oh. Another nugget. Yeah, not bad. And that's all in this same little area. I don't think you can see, actually. The little line where I've been as a just walking along and there's all little holes all the way along bits of brass and everything so it's a bit hard going but I've got to try and catch up with Darren now so okay I'm just um, coming around my usual jetty sort of go around the outside of it on the uh, wet sand and I just had my first coin out of the wet sand and it's another 20 pence piece so, all right, let's keep going. Well, as I was saying, uh, there's little other signals around here. And uh, look, there was the uh, pound coin just on the surface, right next to it. This was coming up as an 18, but uh, as you can see, it's always cleared now. It went to... Uh, uh, 23 signal and it's another nugget so I'm doing really well in this little area I'm sure all this is um, where that the sand has been dragged off the beach there's a lot of sand been shifted you can actually see it well you can't see it on camera but you can actually see it laying across the surface here I think it's all the sand that's uh, been buried a little while and it's just laying here so and it's a lot of it's on the surface so I'm going to try and have a little make me pinpointer out of the way but there's some more signals around here and there's a 16 right on top of that that's why that was giving me a different um, and it's giving me an 18 on that nugget but there's a 15 right in the same hole let's see if there's a right there some Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a 20p, 20 pence. So just, um, I think the um, recovery speed, putting that up quite high. I can't think what I put it on, actually. I think it was about eight, yeah, it's on eight. I don't know if you can see that, the glare. But yeah, I've got the recovery speed on eight, so and it's separating these targets quite nicely I think I'll keep that for this uh, little area actually I've put it in the user mode as well so I can just switch to it I've got the auto tracking uh, ground balance running as well just to try and help there you go 
Well, they're going right on top of that uh, pound coin and the 20p. There's another right next to it. You can see the holes where I've dug just here in a tiny little circle area here. There's another 20p. And there's an 11 signal that I dug out just that was dropped to a oh, 13, 7, 11. It was 11, so. And I've had, a, uh, I've had a gold ring at 11, so. <laughs> or they're usually 5Ps, but this, by the look of it, is a little bit of screwed up. Tin foil, I think that is. Can't really see. Yeah, I think that's tin foil. Can't get me now into it to see if I can open it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely a bit of foil. I think it could have been a bit of silver or something, but it's not, it's foil. I think silver would have been a higher signal. Right, let's have another little look around here. I'm just walking around the pier now, I've got my next coin, and it is another 20 pence piece. Right, the pier awaits. Okay, another little coin. Didn't think this was good. This was an 18, solid 18 over this little hole here. This is where I've had all the uh, the other bits. I will fill these holes in, so don't don't think I'm not going to. Uh, but I think this is either. I know it's a, it is a Georgia Georgia fifth. I think that is. Uh, must be a sixpence, I think. Yeah, it's got some detail on that. That's a little sixpence. Sure of it. Quite difficult to see. I'm sure that's a sixpence. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah it's quite a nice little coin, that. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be silver. Oh, I'm just trying to... Uh, I'll turn around. I think the wind's blowing a bit in there. Yeah. Uh, trying to catch up with Darren. He's, uh, I can see him right up the pier. He's, he's quite a way up now, actually. He's right, right up to to there. I've got a long way to to catch up, but I've just left the area that I was working around, getting the nuggets and stuff, and got this uh, 23 signal down here, right on the surface again. I've just scraped some of the. Uh, well, it started off as 21. I've just scraped some of the surface off and uh, it's gone to 23. So, if we'll give it a film, literally just scooped it out with my boot. I think it's just here somewhere. See if I can find it. It's not under there somewhere. Yeah. Ah. There it is. And it's another nugget. Yeah, another nugget. And we're just below Nugget Alley, so there you go. Right, well I'm out here and it's half an hour before low tide. Um, as you can see, it's just solid water at the moment. This is the gutway. It's solid water at the moment, but um, as soon as land starts forming the other side, I should make my way across. So um, I've come out here, but unfortunately, Les is still way down on the beach. She's just not bothered coming out here, which is uh, not making things overly safe for me. But I'm going to go for it regardless. Uh, I just wish she'd come out and said he's uh, done what he said he was going to do. But never mind, I'm out here. Another 15, 20 minutes and I should be able to get across here. And um, I'll be the first person probably ever to metal detect on the other side of that. I've got a, uh, a few targets here. So I've got a 26 over there. The uh, nugget just come out of this hole here. Right next to it I've got another 21. I'm not sure if that's on the surface or... I don't think it's very deep. It's got a 
19 to 21 now. Cool. That one's gone all over the place now, so... There's like a big rock... Big rock underneath there. That's what I've been having trouble with this morning, digging and... Can't get through the rock. Alright, it's out in this piece here. I think I can see the edge of it just there. That's coming up now as a 14, so that's another 50p. Now there must be something else there as well, I reckon, that's uh, causing that to start as 21 uh, in that area. And that's just dropped to a. Oh yeah, 23, 24 just there. Let's have a look. Oh, I think I can see the edge. This is incredible. I can just see the edge in this. Uh, just there as I turned it over. It is another nugget by the look of it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm never going to catch up with Darren at this rate because uh, how can you leave this area? <laughs> yeah, there's all these coins sitting here. I oh, don't know. He hasn't even got his phone on him, so my apologies, Darren, when you see this. <laughs> I'm going to stay here for a bit. Uh, I've got a 26 signal somewhere here. Yeah? Uh, oh. Pinpointer's having a bit of a moan off. There's an 8 there. 7, 8. There's a 15 here. Right where I just pulled out that two nuggets. It's not very deep. Right, when I find it, I'll. Uh, that's a video is going to be about an hour long. Yeah, uh, it's a, I thought that was going to be a, a sixpence then, but it's a it's a twenty p. So that was that one. All right, let's move on to that twenty six. See what that is. Right, I made it across. Trouble is, I only got a very small amount of ground to detect on, as you can see. And I've really got to keep my eye on this tide because it's uh, nearly low tide now. And uh, at the deepest point, you come up to my knees. So I've got plenty of leeway, so I'm not overly bothered. The only thing is the current. But, um, right, I'm probably going to be the first ever detectorist to detect on this little strip of land here. So uh, let's see what's on it. Here's an interesting find, and eyes only. Don't need any um, detector for this, but it's... Uh somebody's drone about time I found one of these <laughs> now what am I going to do with that <laughs> right the first coin is a big penny um, I don't know whose it is yet let's give it a clean up in this water it's a bit dirty clearly see Britannia on the back Victoria Victoria Penny and it's clearly going to have a date on it which I should be able to I can't actually see it at the moment but it's clearly going to have a date on it but there we go nice Queen Victoria Penny okay this signal you probably just see that uh, I've dug out this little hole here there's only just on the surface and it's uh, another nugget yeah not bad. I found a couple of other coins. There's a couple of uh, a 50p, a couple of pennies, two p's, and bits and pieces. But the uh, GoPro packed up, so I've just changed the battery, and uh, I think we're up and running again. Right, next coin. It's another penny. Uh, can't really see too much on this one. Who we got here? Oh, 
roof have we got on here? I don't know who this one is. Coming out nice and clean though, this one. <clears throat> right, this one is... Queen Elizabeth II. It's an early Queen Elizabeth II, I think. Looks like it. All right, let's keep going. Well, this signal was a long time coming, this one. Been waiting for this for a while. Coming up was a good 22, I think, that was coming in it. Uh, probably changing now in this uh, Equinox. 21 now. And it's a really nice. It's Georgia 5th. Ship half penny, some good detail on that. Looks really nice, probably get a good date off of that as well. Yeah. That's been a while that one coming. Haven't, that's the first one I found. I'd have found that sixpence a bit earlier. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I finally got across the gutway. By to make a dash back because I noticed that some of the holes I've been digging over there have started filling in. So I knew the tide had turned. And now that I've come back here, if you look down here, you can see the bubbles. They're going from right to left. That's, uh, that represents the tide that's coming back here. I did notice when I was coming back across the gutway here, even though um, it's wind assisted, this, the current on this was very strong going the opposite way the way it was. And it was only up to my knees again. Cool, that's tired me out, that is. But yeah, as you can see, the current is starting to build up here now. So I'm gonna take a slow trudge back into shore. It was worth going out there, two pre-decimals. I got about 10 minutes, I suppose, on there. And even looking at it now, I can see that the land's got a lot smaller than it was when I went over there. So I had about 10 minutes on, they had four coins off of there. I had, oh, 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 I, got, I had um, two, two breed decimals, a, a modern day penny and a modern day 2p over there. So, and that was after digging four holes. Doesn't seem to be any scrap over there. All right, anyway, just make, slowly make our way back in. Next coin, I've just caught up with Les by the way. Well, Les has just caught up with me. And uh, yes, a lovely condition Georgia fifth penny. <laughs> so what have you actually had then, Jet? Uh, this one's 1915 by the looks of it. So what have you actually had? Had a uh, little sixpence, just had a... You must have had something good over there because you're over there for ages. I know, just pound coins, nuggets. Uh, nuggets, how yeah. many? I've had one. The very first coin I found though was a nugget. It's out of wind and half refreshing. <laughs> well, you got a little coin case now. Yeah, well, I knew it was coming out here, so. Uh... Are they all new nuggets? Yeah. I've had two old ones, which yeah. are the equivalent of nuggets because you get a pound for a bank. Yeah, and, yeah, not too bad, really, on coins. All your coins are big, aren't they? Yeah. All mine are pennies, two peas. I think the biggest coins I've got is a one nugget and 20 peas, about four 20 peas. This is six months, isn't it? But at least I've had three, three pre decimals, well, in fact, four pre decimals, which count one of them half pennies. Yeah. Right, that's a decimal haven, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I've got this because it's got about three or four fish mates in there. Yeah, I've got four or five, I think. Yeah, when I come down to the third shelter, I zigzagged in front of it because the tide's coming in slow. I thought, well, I'm in front of one of the shelters. This is where people sit. So I picked up a few pennies and uh, fishing weights. Yeah. What shelter are we up to? That's the... There's a third shelter, isn't it? So that was the second. Well, still quite a long way out, aren't we? Where's that the third? Oh, that's the second. One's really just started finding... So we're still over half a mile out. Yeah, I had trouble with mine at the start, just behaving yourself again now. Well, this is the first time the tide's caught up with me, so it's been coming in. It's coming in really slowly. I've been having a nice slow walk in, it's been lovely. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's coming in slow, there must be low tides. But anyway, let's crack on. 
Right, next find. Token, right between these is dick holes. Yeah, you miss this one, but it's only a token. Something you have a stores, so I'll have a proper look at that when I get home. This is an interesting find, I like finding stuff like this. Right, as I say, the tide is catching us up now. If we turn around. The tide's caught us up, it's only coming in slowly, so we're in no rush. So uh, let's keep going. A token. Well, this, uh, this coin here come up as a, an 18, and it's a first for me, especially out on the out on the mud. And I witnessed it. He did witness it. He's here. He did see it. And it was it an Elizabeth the first. Elizabeth the first I can't really see. It's really blurred That's on the, the size picture. Of an old fit, yeah. Let's put a coin up against it to. Uh... That's a, an amazing find for me. I'm absolutely over the moon yeah, with that. This is a two pence piece next to it. So it shows you the size of that. It's unbelievable. Really thin. Absolutely wafer thin. And it coming up as a strong 18, that was. The edges are slightly going on it. I've never it, seen anything like that before on the beach. That's incredible. I mean, wow. What a find. What a day. <laughs> well, what can you say about that? I've been doing this hobby for over 20 years and I have never in all that time heard of anyone finding a hammered coin on the foreshore at Southend. Um, I've not even come close, I've never found anything older than the Victoria. So um, yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. But um, I think we both did okay, well Les did exceptionally well, six, six one pound coins as well. Uh, 50 P's, 20 P's, he's uh, absolutely annihilated me today. The only thing I'm grateful for is the fact that I finally, finally managed to get across that cutway and do a bit of detecting the far side of it. But anyway, that's enough um, waffle. This video is long enough as it is. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you'll all subscribe. I mean, we really do appreciate all the uh, subscribers we've got and uh, hopefully we'll get some more in the future. Um, but right, uh, here's the photos from uh, yesterday and um, we'll see you again soon. So until then, bye-bye for now.